Hello my strange and charmed ones and welcome back to my channel for another video. Since May is right around the corner, I was thinking that this would be the perfect time to do a monthly plan with me. So basically on a monthly basis at the beginning of a month or right before a month begins, I will perform a very specific process um, in my monthly functional planning. And so I thought today this would be a great time to sit down with you guys and let you guys watch my process and explain to you what I do um, from start to finish to plan out my month. Now, this will not have anything to do with my weeklies. I'm going to show you guys weekly planning a little, a little later on in this series. Um, but for now, if you're interested in seeing how I sort of organize my month ahead of time and plan out for all of the important tasks in my month, this video is for you. And just a disclaimer, if anyone has clicked on this video and you thought that this might be like a monthly sort of decorating or like sticker video. That's not what this is. If you are not yet familiar with my channel, hi, my name is Alexis. I'm also known as Miss Trenchcoat all across the internet. And I am a blog boss, online business coach, and a productivity guru. Here on YouTube and at my blog and shop, strangecharm.com, I design and sell digital products to help you work smarter, not harder. So I am all about that productivity life. So this video is not going to be your typical sort of um, like decorating style plan with me. This is legit me working on my schedule so that I execute on my business plans and, you know, my personal plans for the month. So if you are interested in this topic, let's get started. The first step in my monthly functional planning process is to print out my two free planner inserts that I giveaway up on my shop. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can download both my monthly dashboard and then my monthly to-do list. So I've got my May dashboard printing out and I also have an Oh Hello May 31 things to do in the month of May. Just a fun um, list of really great items to try to get done in the month of May. Next step is to go ahead, cut them out, and go ahead and punch them. I'm using my ARC punch because that is compatible with my notebook, which is where I'm gonna store these inserts. And that's it for now. I'll come back to this notebook a little later on in the process. The next thing that I will do in this process is go to my project planning section in my planner and look through my project planning pages and I will go through and check off any items that I completed during the previous month and then I'll copy down any items from those lists that need to be done in the current month onto my current month's master task list, which is what you're seeing me do now, just writing down the tasks that were on my project plans for the month. At this time, I'll also go ahead and write down the headers for my expected income and expenses. I'm writing this down on the expense tracker that I have built in to my Charmed Life Planner. This is why this planner is my holy grail. It has everything for me. Next, I'll get to work on my monthly spread. So the first thing I'll do is take a look at my projects and go ahead and assign my top three priorities for the month. I list those out on my month on two pages. Then what I'll do is I'll distribute items from my monthly master task list and I will actually write them in like bullet style on the notes column of my month on two pages and basically assign like two, maybe three items to a given week in my monthly calendar. As you can see, what I'm doing now is just writing down items that I want to take care of for a specific week. That helps me to distribute my workload, which is very helpful and a good hack for anybody who doesn't know how they want to use the notes column of their monthly spread. And the last step to my monthly functional planning process is to fill out my editorial calendar for blog posts and YouTube videos that I'm going to write and film for the month. Now, as you can see, looking at my month on two pages, I already had just a few things written out and scheduled for my month already. This is pretty normal that I will have decided on some special video or some special event ahead of time. For example, I've got something written down that says um, Stella and Dot Trunk Show 
show because I'm going to be doing another one of those virtual trunk shows in May, which I hope many of you guys will attend. It's going to be on the topic of how to work from the beach this summer, and I think everyone's going to enjoy that. Um, and I also just have other videos that I've already planned out to do, like my 50k bonus video. It's going to come out on Sunday. Um, these are just things that were just already in my schedule, but basically I go back and forth between my blog trackers, my YouTube trackers, and yes, even my iPhone um, inside the app Clear where I like to list out other blog post ideas and different concepts. And um, finally, I'll check my computer and just make sure that I've got all the holidays that are important for the month, like Mother's Day. I'm just going to mark something down for that so I don't forget. And that's my general process for my planner. Then I can go ahead and go into my notebook where I keep my monthly dashboard and using the information from my planner, I can fill in any important days. I can go ahead and list out my goals for the month as well as any books that I'm reading. Um, usually I'll need to use my phone and Audible to see what books are on my queue uh, to read for the month. So that is the entire monthly planning process for me. Okay, so that was my process for my monthly functional planning. So like I mentioned in the video, I do have a couple of free inserts that are available on my shop for May, and I'll leave those linked down below so you can go ahead and get that May dashboard that I use to organize sort of the big picture um, events and items on my to-do list, as well as my Oh Hello May checklist of 31 fun things to do in May. As you guys might have seen while we were working on my monthly layout, I do have a webinar coming up for my Strange and Charmed Digital Styling Lightroom. That's my photography styling course. So if you are a blogger or a business owner or a social media maven that kind of wants to make the most of their social media presence and learn a little more about photography, I welcome you to join me for my upcoming webinar, Seven Impactful Strategies for Using Photography to Elevate Your Brand Online. And like we saw in the monthly view, that's happening on Wednesday. May 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern, and I will leave a link down below if you would like to sign up for that. Finally, I also have another one of those really fun Stella and Dot trunk shows coming up with my friend and Stella and Dot stylist, Marina. So if you would like to join that event, which is going to be called How to Work from the Beach this summer, which doesn't that sound like lovely and delightful, I am super excited about the summer coming up, and I can't wait to share with you guys some beautiful beautiful jewelry and travel accessories, as well as my essential tips for working from anywhere. So if you're interested in that event, make sure to click the link down below and you can go ahead and RSVP because I do believe that the people who RSVP for that event are going to be entered into a giveaway. So I will leave the information for that as well down in the description box. So I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a new trick or just enjoyed seeing my functional planning process on a monthly basis in my planners. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos by me. And until next time, bye bye